Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, talking to you guys over a little bit of dun 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 da new blocks in Minecraft 1.8. This is a 1.8 video, guys. It's part of my 11 part series for all new things in Minecraft 1.8. This is the second part that I'm actually recording. First part was the Minecraft 1.8 in two minutes or less. So you guys can go check that out in the description. Um, I will link you guys a playlist with all of the videos. There's also going to be annotations on screen to the playlist. And at the end of this video, you guys will have all the annotations to click on. So feel free to check those out. Feel free to comment down below if I missed any blocks in this video. Talking about all the new blocks slash item stuff in Minecraft or in Minecraft 1.8 specifically. That doesn't have to do with the other videos and stuff like that without making this video too long. Make sure you guys also rate this video if you guys did like it or dislike it. And make sure you guys also share it with your friends if you guys want to share all these new items and all the information about them. So anyway, let's get started. So we're going to start off with these items, probably some of the more simple ones that you guys will know, and then eventually we'll get to the more advanced ones. So first of all, we're going to have the redstone or red sandstone. Sorry, I keep on wanting to say redstone. The way that you guys are gonna craft this just like normal sandstone is gonna be for sand pretty cool it's gonna give you the one then you guys are gonna actually have the chiseled um, the chiseled sandstone which is gonna be made with two slabs on top of each other the slabs are made by three sandstone next to each other and so on and so forth so that'll give you guys that and then you guys can make these guys which as you guys can see have wither uh, embedding on them which kind of complements the creeper uh, sort of like emblem on the the normal sandstone anyway moving on from there uh, we're going to have the granite diorite and andesite guys which is kind of interesting because one of the things that I never knew about these blocks is you can actually craft them so they're by far not difficult to find like for instance if I just kind of jump out here maybe hold up let's dig here if I dig right here or something, by the time I dig down, boom, we just found some granite. That wasn't hard at all. You know, uh, andesite and diorite, I personally find a diorite a little bit more difficult to find. But, you know, I, 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 they're very easy to find overall, guys. So don't worry about it. But in case you do have difficulty finding them or you need to make large quantities of them, you guys can actually craft these things. This is something I never knew before uh, trying to research for new things in Minecraft 1.8. If you guys want to make granite, you guys will need diorite and nether quartz. If you guys want to make diorite, you guys will need nether quartz and cobblestone. And if you guys want to make andesite, you guys will need diorite and cobble. So, so just to recap there, diorite is going to be crafted. You can get two blocks with two cobblestone and two nether quartz. And then granite or andesite can be made from there with granite you only get one block by mixing it with another quart and with andesite you will get two blocks by mixing it with cobble so that's kind of cool i think that's kind of interesting and something that i never knew if you guys want to know how to make the polished version same thing as a sort of sandstone you guys just need four of them put them together and it'll make them look all pretty let's clear our inventory and continue going this next block some of you guys might not know is called coarse dirt now the coarse dirt can be found uh naturally occurring occurring in uh various biomes so you guys can go and find it and then by digging it up simply by hand you don't need you know a silk touch pick or anything you'll pick it up now if you guys use a hoe on this dirt and actually till it you guys will uh turn it into normal dirt so it'll just be normal a, a normal dirt block that'll grow grass but while it's coarse dirt it'll actually remain dirt which is kind of cool so it's useful for things like in this case i made a little path to go all the way over there kind of cool kind of interesting i wish there was um an easier way to craft it just because it is dirt and gravel which i guess kind of makes sense but i kind of wish uh i saw a few reddit posts about this making it maybe instead of you know tilling the dirt you hit it with a hoe and then it'll it'll turn it into coarse dirt i saw that that would be interesting but if you guys want to craft it uh it will be a shape crafting recipe with two dirt and two gravel which will give you four coarse dirt which i guess is a fair recipe anyway moving on to the next things all of these guys were added so nothing crazy uh you know crazy new here but a ton of new fence posts ton of new fence gates and then a ton of new doors the main thing that uh changed here you know obviously all of these various things jungle oak dark wood spruce uh acacia acacia and birch they're all going to be crafted with their particular wooden pieces the biggest difference here is that now uh like before in minecraft you could take you know a bunch of different types of wood so you could take you know like a couple oak a couple spruce a couple you know jungle plants put them all together and then you could probably make a door with that now you can no longer do that all of the pieces of wood to make one door need to come from 
one type of wood. So that kind of is going to be negative for some of you guys, but now, you know, that's just the way it needs to work. With fence posts, same sort of dealio here. As you guys can see, uh, it's going to be the same crafting recipe, except for you guys are just going to need sticks because they're just normal sticks. There's there's no special type of sticks, but uh, you will need to use the birch wood planks and both of them will need to be the same uh, in order to make any of these fence gates. So yeah, uh, anyway, moving on from there, so those, that's pretty basic, as you guys can see, you know, they all open up the same way, nothing really crazy special, okay, gotta break that, nothing really crazy special about them, you know, the doors kind of look cool, they all have different sort of textures on them, but then again, that can all be changed with a resource pack anyway, so yeah. Anyway, moving on to this, we're going to be talking about all of these sort of blocks, which are kind of the more interesting dynamic blocks. So anyway, we got prismarine, which you guys can see. Prismarine can be made with prismarine shards, or it can be found uh, in the underwater temples. Then we're going to have the prismarine bricks, which the prismarine bricks are made with a bunch of shards, so instead of just four, it's going to be made with nine. So that's kind of interesting, and as you guys can see, the cracking kind of looks cool. Again, you can find these uh, in the underwater uh, temples. Then we're going to have the dark prismarine, so this is going to be prismarine shreds around an ink sack, again can be found in underwater temples, and then finally the sea lantern, which is going to be crafted like this, shaped crafting recipe, so it will be five prismarine crystals and then four prismarine shards. So that's how you're going to make those. And again, these can be found with un within underwater temples. Now, the way you guys are going to get those shards, the way you guys are going to get those crystals is by killing guardians and elder guardians in those underwater temples. By killing an el uh, elder guardians, you guys can also get a sponge block, which is quite cool. If you guys don't know, uh, you know, the usefulness of sponge, it's kind of cool because we've never been able to get sponge in vanilla Minecraft before. It was always a creative item, but you like plop this thing down and kablammy, you guys got some wet sponge here. Now, the cool thing about this is this isn't just, you know, you're not just screwed now with this wet sponge. You guys will be able to throw that in a furnace and be able to uh, unwetify that sponge, which is quite cool. So, kind of an interesting thing. Uh, that may be useful for some of you guys, especially when you're exploring sand te or uh, underwater temples. Being able to absorb large uh, areas of water would be quite useful, I would think. So anyway. Now, moving on to these guys, these new items are going to be banners. So as you guys can see, we got a ton of custom banners here. I'm going to have a video showing you guys all of them and how to make all the various types of banners. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys subs subscribe and stay tuned for that video because I will be showing you guys all the various things that you guys will need to do to make these just because it is a lot of different stuff in order to make these. So you can make all the colored banners and stuff. It's going to be the same way as making a sign, except for, and I'll actually just show you guys. So anyway, banner. It's going to be the same way as making a sign except for wool instead of wooden planks. And then you guys, uh, with that, you guys can then do modifications to them. We have the armor stand here, guys. So as you guys can see, this is actually a pretty simple crafting recipe. I was expecting this to be, you know, have some special item or something, but I guess not. You know, you guys got your five sticks and your stone slab at the bottom, which is pretty fair. And then you guys have your uh, little armor stuff here. So by clicking here, uh, you guys can place it on and take it back off. So, uh, you know, I click there, I take that off. If we were to go like that, I can take the pants, I can take the boots, I can take the helmet, and then I can throw those on just by simply clicking, or I can put them back on. I'm not, they're not leaving my inventory just because I am in creative mode. Anyway, we're going to delete all those items. And now finally, uh, we're going to talk about this guy, the iron trap door, pretty much the same as the trap door slash iron door. Um, it's a trap door that only opens with redstone signal and cannot be broken by mobs, so that's kind of cool. Well, unless it's a creeper that explodes it. But anyway, uh, now talking about these little drops, these are going to be the drops from the new uh, new mob, the rabbit. So the rabbit will actually be able to drop raw rabbit, which you can cook for cooked rabbit. You guys will have the rabbit's foot, which is going to be used in potions. Make sure you guys check out my potions video to show you guys all the new potions in Minecraft 1.8. You guys are going to have the rabbit's hide, which you guys can use to craft into leather, which is going to be quite useful for UHCs maybe if you can't find any cows you guys are gonna have rabbit stew which is actually going to be crafted if I show you guys that with a cooked rabbit a baked potato a carrot and a mushroom and it's actually gonna supply 10 health and 13 or sorry 10, not 10 health 10 um, like hunger bars and uh, not like the full bars but 10 like halves I guess so five hunger bars fully whatever you guys want and then 13 saturation which is going to be quite good and then finally raw mutton which or raw mutton and cooked mutton which comes from the sheep and those will give you two 
I believe, two hunger sticks. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so hopefully you guys did kind of enjoy this video. If you guys did, remember to slam that like button down below. If I missed any new items, guys, there's a ton of new items in the game. So if I missed anything, make sure you guys tell me. Uh, a lot of them may be in future episodes. So make sure you guys subscribe uh, to be notified when all of that stuff sort of happens. I will be talking about the new uh, potions. I will be talking about all the new mobs. I will be talking about all that sort of stuff in new videos. So anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. I'm the Doctor, and I'm out. Bye!